Hey now, alright, yeah, welcome back, and if you're still watching, I love you. Uh, we're picking back up in the train graveyard right here, and this part has always confused me, no matter how many times I play it. So, if you play it while you watching me, prepare to get confused, and if you play it after you watch me, then, you know what, two thumbs up, go you. No, I don't want, I don't want you. There we go. So we're going to go up right here. We're going to grab this item. Because it is so obvious. We're going to crawl back down here. We're going to crawl through the train. And you know what, man? This place actually has... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Bam, look at that. Y'all didn't know that, did you? Uh, This place actually has some premium monsters in it. Because you actually have to use some strategy... And uh, you know what? I'm hoping that I can provide that strategy that you need. We're going to come down here. We're going to search this bell right here. And guess what? Bam! Echo screen. So there you go. Alright, let's see here. Do we have any ghosts in this one? We do have some ghosts. Okay, so we're going to attack the dragon first. Where is it? There you go. The Dean Glow. Just because he can, uh, he can actually be pretty dangerous, as you see right there. Braver, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna attack him in a bit. Yes, healing wind. Thank you, G Bus. Oh, look at that! They all three got little breaks. And uh, let me see if in this battle I can show you why those ghosts. Uh, need a little bit of strategy when you playing them. Those dragons, those little Dean Glows, don't require too much strategy. Let's see. But uh, those those ghosts do because they're tricky. And uh, all right, it looks like this battle is is gonna be over before I can actually show you why. Okay, there it is, right there. There it is right there. Those little ghosts, they disappear sometimes when you attack them. If you try to attack them after they disappear, they actually take no damage. Here, watch. Bam. You always miss every time. So you got to always wait till they come back. And they disappear after, like, every attack. It's so frustrating. Especially if you get attacked by five of them. I think you can get attacked by five of them. I think I've done that. That's happened to me before. So... Man, like trust me they are frustrating cross slash yes new limit break for cloud so we're gonna go ahead let's see here it limits cloud let's see check he's you don't even have to do that look mm, attack is and paralyzes one opponent so we don't have to set it because it's still under the level one limit break right there so we're gonna have to take we're gonna take this right here all right now and then we're gonna come down here we gotta crawl back up this little thing right here come on man climb up there climb up climb down this little ladder right here and then we gotta go back through the trains we're gonna come right here we go bam right there And I think that is actually the fastest I've made it through that first part. You see that little item flashing down there? I know you do. Because you guys, you guys are on it. You know what? You on it, doggone it. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all notice that. And I know you see this barrel right here. So let's go see. After this fight, we're going to go see if there's something in that barrel. Or if we're just wasting some time. So we're just going to go ahead and attack willy-nilly. We're just trying to get this battle over quick quick fast in a hurry shoot move and communicate that's what they say in the army bro I was in the army so I got all these weird little sayings that some of you guys may not recognize or whatnot but that's just me you know I got a I got a, a huge military background pretty much every single one of my family members in at least in one in each generation has been 
in the military ever since the Civil War. That's right, you heard me. We go all the way back to the Civil War. And uh, I'm actually related to Bloody Mary. Yeah, check me out. I'm, I'm gruesome. I go back like that. We got a violent family history. And we, you know what? We trying to better ourselves. Uh, yeah, gravity ball. That's what I'm talking about. They actually cast, uh, I believe that cast gravity. Okay, there you go. We got the ether. And I do believe that is all the parts. Uh, parts. That's all the items that you can find. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to hit up this little engine. ka choo ka -choo. Oh, look. I missed one. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm so wrong. Look at that. Right there. Okay. So now we don't open up this back part. We got to go get this item back here. After we finish up this battle. Is it some ghosts? Man, I... Oh! No! I hate you! I hate you so much! This dude will actually mess up your entire party because he will ram the heck out of you. Yeah, you go ahead and silence me. It don't matter none to me. I ain't casting no magic spells on you, bro. He does look cool, though. He looks like a Spartan. Spartans! Prepare for battle! That whole thing right there. What you doing? Why? Why? Why do you get two attacks in a row? There he goes again. Always attacking the women folk, man. That's right, miss. Because I ain't no punk. Come on, let me kill this thing. Thank you. There's actually a point in time where he will actually ram the people in your party and he he will do some damage with that. So we're gonna come back up here. Get up that cloud. We're gonna climb up this ladder right here. We're gonna grab this item. There you go. We got us another high potion. That's what I'm talking about. Why? Why you jumping over there? I ain't tell you jump over there. Get down. And then we're gonna climb right here in this little choo choo kaboo kaboo right here. Back, back, back it up. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to do that. Never mind. Rip. Oh, okay, yeah, I was supposed to do that. Never mind. I'm so. Like I said, man, this part always confused me. It's the simplest part of the game. There you go. Now you walk across right there. Oh, come on, man. But, like, uh. If you having trouble with this, like, uh, just start back over, which is save at the beginning of the graveyard. Yeah, go ahead, disappear. And so we're gonna attack him, and then we're gonna attack him right there. And then Cloud's gonna attack him right there. But yeah, uh, if you having trouble with this part, man, just start back over with your save. Use that tent that you picked up. And, uh, you should be good, man. That one full heal should uh, actually uh, keep you safe for the rest of this little stunt that we're going through right now. And uh, it's really, really hard to keep track if you're not paying attention. You got to keep track of who you're attacking. Because if not, then you'll end up attacking the same person twice and it's just going to do you no good because you're just going to miss. Okay. Oh yeah, if you miss, they don't disappear, so that's all gravy. There we go. Now we go down here. Then we go back up there. And then we go back down here. Oh, he's attacking a woman fool, man. That's some cowardice up in these fools, man. Straight up cowardice. Clouds leveling up. There we go, level them. Here we go. We're going down, down. Do 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 do. Uh, Fall up boy song reference. Where am I going? Okay, there we go. Oh look, look at where we are. We're back at the train. Ain't that sweet? Mhm. Mm yeah, you can't bear to leave there. Oh no. So we're uh, back in the Sector 7 slums now. 
and uh, there's some hanky janky stuff going on. We made it back in time, so that's always good. Gunfire. Why is there gunfire? Look at that. Look, there is some serious battling going on over this pillar right here. That right there should tell you Avalanche is not part of this little blown up sequence, man. They trying to keep Day Slum safe. You know, you see Biggs right there, that little fat rascal right there on the corner of the stairs. No! No! Why? Why? Why do he gotta... Oh, you... Mmm. Why? Why does he gotta die, man? Oh, that wasn't Biggs. That was Wedge. But still, man. Yeah, I remember your name. You my, you my brother in arms, man. Oh, Barrett's up top. Oh, man. You, you was a big help, brother. Trust me. You will not die in vain. We will get to the top of this pillar, and we will figure everything out. Yeah. We got to go save Marlene, man. We got to go save that little girl. She's too innocent to die. You know how they say in horror movies, the virgin always live, man. And Marlene, I swear, I hope Marlene's a virgin, that little young girl. Yeah, y'all get out. Y'all get out. Set the seven, man. There we go. Here we go. Look, this guy right here. There you go. Back again. So we're gonna save right here, uh, just cause I know that I forgot to do something, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it right after I save. And just in case I die, and that's gonna save some time right there. That's the one I want right there. Alright, so we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go back to materia. And we gonna clip him with uh the steel materia. We can give her a uh, restore and ice. We don't want her to have cover because she's got so little uh HP. That's really not gonna do nobody no good. It looks like if she used her limit break one more time, she might level that junk up. Come on, go up the stairs, man. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Come on, man. I don't care what happens to the planet, but you know what? I still care about my friends. What about you? What about you? That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know about me. I can't deal with no more friends. Down right now, man. <laughs> some, some boom, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and climb up these stairs right here. And we gonna get to the bottom of this. That's so repetitious. Gotta go left, go down, go right, go up, go left, go down, go right, go up. And these things, man, look at that back attack. Uh, what? Like I said, this L1 and R1. But if he hit, uh, we're gonna go ahead and steal from these fools if we can. Because, uh, you can steal grenades from them. And those actually become helpful once you, uh, throw them. They do some damage. Oh, you stole a potion. That's good, too. I'll deal with it. So now that we don't, you can only steal from an enemy once, and then if you do steal from an enemy, he will not drop anything at the end of a battle. That's very important for you to know, and uh, we're going to go back to that in some later battles, because there's some enemies that you do not want to steal from, because the items that they drop after the battle are so much better than what you can actually get from them, if you actually get the item drop. Look at you, you ain't so hot now, you ain't got no propellers, bruh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to steal from you. We're going to try to get a grenade. A grenade is actually a rare steal. You can steal, uh, there's a percent chance of what you can steal from them. And the potion is the common steal. Grenade is the, uh, rare steal. Boop, boop. Come on, one more attack. He's done. Bam, look at that. I called that shit. I'm like, telepathetic. I know what I said. I'm trying to make y'all laugh. Don't don't y'all be laughing at me. I'm trying to make y'all laugh. Telepathetic. Come on, who would not laugh at somebody calling themselves telepathetic? Come on now. Here we go. We got Jesse right here. And one last time. Don't you dare say that. Don't you dare. I got feelings for you, girl. In my penis. Come on. No, nah, this ain't our punishment, girl. 
We done did the best we could. We trying to make this world a better place. Ain't no shame in your game. Look at that limit break. Mm-hmm. Cross slash. We gonna do this guy in the back right here. That's right. Alright, so now she got her limit break. Uh hit hit yeah. It's still not as strong as it would be. Who's she attacking? Which one is she gonna attack? Right there, so I'm gonna attack that one right there. If you get three hits, it's stronger than two hits in a year or two years in a hit. If you get three years, that's like twice as strong as three hits. Come on, man. Don't let her die, please. Don't let her die. Miss? He floating in the air, bruh. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna potion Tifa. Don't die. Don't die. We're gonna go ahead and steal some more potions since we had to use one. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, bro. So we'll go ahead and attack the guy that's down on the ground. Because that means he's the most vulnerable. Look up, look up. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, come on. Please kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Thank you. Alright, so now we're gonna attack that guy right there. Since Cloud done cross slash the dude in the very, very back. Which means that we are gonna steal from him right there. Oh, I couldn't steal anything. Shit. Item. Okay, we need it. No, not that. We need it right there. And then he's gonna braver that guy right there. Even though we couldn't steal nothing from him. Because I know we can steal something from him on this next round of attacks. If he doesn't die, when Tifa punches the crap out of him. Okay, she missed. So we're going to go ahead and steal a potion. Oh, couldn't steal nothing. Come on, man. So this should be the last attack. I don't know, really? Okay, so we got another chance to steal a potion. S still couldn't steal anything. Come on, we got to steal a potion. We need that. Come on. Alright. We gotta end it anyway. I'm not I'm not letting Tifa get in any more danger. Twenty. That's a that's a good little bit of AP right there. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna heal them up. We're gonna use her magic. There we go. Cause she ain't gonna use that no way in the upcoming battle. You you hear that Gatling gun going off? Bear is doing some work up here. What you doing? What you doing right there? Nothing. You so dead. Come here, Bear. What you shooting at, man? What? What are you shooting at? Attacking from the helicopter, huh? Press the menu button to access the menu and press OK when we finish. Here they come. They don't even give you a chance to do that. So, once you push that button, boop, boop. That's all, folks. Who is you? Who are you? You like, mm, you bug bunny. That's all. That's Porky Pig, ain't it? That's all, folks. Yeah, we gotta disarm that bad boy right there. I don't even why I don't even know why he tell you like hit triangle. He don't even say hit triangle. He just say hit the menu button to equip your party, and then you don't even get a chance to do it. What's the point, man? So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, I don't know if you can steal anything from him or not. Okay, nothing to steal. So we're gonna do this. Look, check this out. See. You attack Barrett, it gets rid of that little uh, pyramid thing, so Barrett can attack again. That's a little secret. That's for the pros right there. Ooh, that hurt, man. All right, so we're gonna hit Tifa up with a little limit break. Why'd she stop? Why? 
Why did she stop? Oh man, that must have stunned her. Okay, so we're gonna go right there. We can get that pyramid off so that way she can get back into action as soon as possible. Okay, there it goes. Can we get the yes? Oh, we got two yes. Damn it. See, two yes and a hit is still stronger than three hits. But three yes is like... Oh, man, that's, that's way off the charts right there. Why are he attacking the women folk? She in the back. You ain't supposed to be attacking the women folk, especially when in the back, man. That's some... You are a little cowardly old fool. I can't believe you. Uh, now we got to attack that little uh, pyramid right there. There you go, Barry. Good job. Good job. Oh, come on. Now Cloud can't attack. He's stunned. He just got hit by a cattle prod. He's like, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, man. He's like, uh... He's like uh, the hangover when they got hit by the taser. He just dropped. No, not you, fat Jesus. <laughs> That's my favorite line of that movie. I don't know why. Really? Come on. Okay, take the pyramid so Cloud can get off his uh, his limit breaker. There you go, cross slash. Let's see if we can paralyze him. Probably not, though, because he's a mini boss. You can't really... Uh, you can't really do status effects on mini bosses, but it might happen. You never know. Pyramid. Who is he doing the pyramid on? So we gonna attack the pyramid over Tifa. It's time. That's right, it's time. It's time for you to get the fuck out of here. Oh, wow. I actually got lucky because usually he has, he has an attack that's called grenade where he will actually throw a grenade at the party and uh, he will damage everybody in the party and he usually does like 75 plus damage. So we got lucky right there. What you what you doing, girl? You don't know nothing about that. That's right, you don't know how to stop it. I'll do it. That's right, it's not a normal time bomb. And there's that goofy looking helicopter again. Oh man, he got Aries. Fuck. Some stupid jerk touches it. Shut the fuck up. Man saying I'm gonna mess you up, boy. You don't even know. Emergency plate release system. Why do they even have an emergency plate release system when they know that that thing is over like hundreds of people in the slums? Why? Yeah, we know each other. I've been going with that girl ever since I met her. She loved me. She get all moist in the undergarments when she see me. And why do they keep calling her ancient? What? She like 19 years old. She ain't ancient. Boy, you get it. You better get your chronological perspective correct. Okay, you better get your mind right. He just slapped her. Oh, ooh! If it's one thing I cannot stand, it is a man that will put his hands on a woman in anger. I swear to. Jeebus, if you put a hand on a woman in anger around me, boy, you better pray for your life. You better hope that Jesus come back from the grave to give you some salvation. That's all I know right there. What are we doing? Okay, yeah, we can use that to get off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Barry got them big old arms. Look at that. Look, I can hop on his arms. Ain't no problem. That's a Tell me that's not Rampage Jackson. Tell me. <sighs> you didn't. We didn't save it. We didn't save it, guys. Shit. Sector Seven Slums is gone, man. You see, <sighs> all those people, man. They just fuck. They died in vain, man. And there's that cat, mouse, mold, dog. 
gopher thing. Man, I can't believe that. Look, the president is just like, eh, it's whatever. Man, you are the president. What do you think your approval rating is going to be after this happens? What? It's, oh my god. You got, you got no clue how politics work, do you? Do you, President Shimmer? No, because you a dictator. You're not a president. Good golly, Miss Molly. I will. Ooh, wait till I get a hold of you, boy. You don't even know, son. Man, that's some, that's some straight up bull mess right there. Look at that. And entire sector of the slums is gone. So gone. Now, now Bear's little girl is dead, and so is Biggs, and then so is Wedge, and so is Jesse. Jesse was my favorite though. She looked kind of good. That little fiery red hair. You know she was in some kinky stuff. You know them red heads is like that. Look at that. That's still so sad, man. Why? Why? Just to make the avalanche a bunch of outlaws, man. Come on now, you trying to get the disapproval of the people? You can do that through. Oh man, that's my goodness, my goodness. You gotta go through so much. That's right, Bear. I'm angry too. I would shoot up President Shimmer right in his face right now. You don't even. Oh, I'm so angry. God damn it. Safe on. Okay, Ari said, "Don't worry, she was just all right. Maybe she was talking about Marlene. I hope so. That poor little girl, man. But the rest of them three, man, they was why? Why they gotta do that? It's such senseless violence. Such senseless violence." I don't want to think of him as being dead either, man. That's going to make me cry, please. Let's just get off the subject. Hell no, that ain't it. Shimmer is just trying to just fuck us up. Avalanche is just trying to save the people. You see, that's exactly right. Shimmer trying to line their pockets, man. What you mean, your feelings? I'm too sad to talk, bro. Just, just don't, don't talk to me right now. Turning back now, bro. Damn you, damn you all to hell, man. So, you gotta go back through here, man. Everybody catch up with Cloud. He needed a moment to himself, man. So I, I, had, to, I had to pause for a moment of silence for those, for those that died fighting the good fight. There he goes. Now he's having another flashback. In case y'all didn't know, every time your screen flashed like that, that's actually Cloud. Uh, he's having a legitimate flashback. That's that's his uh, genetic code telling him a little bit about his past that he didn't know before. And they don't actually tell you that in the story, but that's what that is. So we're going to go back up here. We're going to go visit the playground. And we're going to get the sense material right here if I can get to it. 
Thank you. So, uh, we're gonna go back up here. We're gonna equip some materia. Barrett needs some materia, so we're gonna go ahead and give him some sense. Because Barrett ain't got no sense whatsoever. And then, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and come back down here. Wait, there we go. Right there. <clears throat> I think. Nah, I'm, I'm probably wrong. We're gonna go ahead and take care of these fools. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and send some. Why not? We can do a little showcase of Barrett's new material. See, it'll tell you everything about them. Let you know how much HP they have, their name, their level. You know, and that's good. Because, uh, like, when you use it in the future, you can actually find out uh, what their weakness is, if they have one. You can use that against them. These these don't have no weakness, though. So we just going to beat them down some. We just going to beat these fools down. Beat them down. There you go, Aries. Do some damage. Hey, hey, hey. She done did something for once. Not Aries, Tifa. She done beat them down for once. When we racking up some gill, and we going to spend that here in the near future. Yeah, go back here. And we're going to go up here into this little town right here. And where is it at? Where is it? There's a place in here. I think it's... Is it this? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go up these stairs right here. Earlier, this kid was sleeping. And if you talk to him, he would talk about the little stash of gill that he had. And if you robbed him of his guild then he won't do nothing for you but because we didn't rob him we're gonna talk to him and uh what is he going on? where is it at hold on something right here I didn't steal your guild how come oh, okay I guess you have to actually talk to him the first time you come through wait wait, wait a minute is that one of them posters that I was talking about earlier yeah, Turtles Paradise, number one. This is one of the posters I was talking about earlier. And uh, the Wu Tai area is a club or a bar called Turtles Paradise. And you got to read all them little posters. And they give you some items. So there's that. But you won't, I, all he gives you is a Turbo Ether. Which at this point in the game don't really help you out much. So you can just go ahead and skip that if you didn't talk to him earlier. So we're gonna go back up here to uh we're gonna go back to Don Corneo's mansion. Hopefully we won't we won't get attacked by none of them little housey houses. Hopefully. Oh holy crap, dude, we're at 30 minutes already. Alright, uh next save point I get to, we're gonna go ahead and split it off after I mess this boy up right here uh, I think you can steal something from him something worthwhile yeah hell bomber okay never mind I was so wrong oh, why are you always so wrong you just need to do a little research when you play this game you just, you just be wrong about everything shut up you little internet troll I don't give a what I'm having fun what you having you ain't having fun watching me. You just try and wait for me to mess up so you can tell me wrong. I don't like your kind around him. But you know what they say, man. If somebody's hating on you, it's because you're doing something right. And just keep on doing what you're doing. And I believe in that to the fullest.
We gonna save his limit break. We just we uh we're gonna go ahead and heal everybody. Go here, go items. Uh, you know what? we're gonna use we're gonna use her magic. There we go. Ain't no use in using the items when MP is restorable and potions cost money. Yeah, back attack. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 300 damage off the bat. Oh, can we attack them before they turn around? Nope. Damn. Oh, well. We got rid of two of them before they could attack. So we're doing pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Now Bear's got his limit break. We're going to save that too. Nobody's going to level up. But boy, we racking up them gill, huh? Yes, sir. Walk up that board. We're going to go back here to the playground. Pass that mole, cat, dog, gopher thing. Now it's got a beam in its head, so it's so dead. Come on, get over there. And like I said before, you can get attacked in this area, but I don't think you can get attacked in that area before this part. So we're just, let's see here. Let's see if I get attacked right now. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping. I must be tripping. So we can go back up here. We're gonna go straight up. Cause uh, we're gonna, oh, there's a save point. Okay, boys and girls, before we get on to the next part, we're just gonna go ahead and save right now. And uh, that will conclude this part of the Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII, including uh, commentary that I hope you boys and girls love. I don't I don't think you want to like it. I think you want to love it. And uh, that's concluding the commentary with your boy Uggs. And we will pick it back up exactly where we left off. Just like we always do. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Peace out.